What is beauty? Who decides what beauty is? I was in year seven, lining up for lunch on my own when I heard a voice. Fat cow, followed by a snicker. It was me. I was the fat cow that the boy was talking about. It meant nothing to him. He laughed about it with his friends, went back to class, and by three o'clock, it was forgotten. I wish I could say the same for myself. It was the beginning of my downfall. The beginning of what felt like endless therapy sessions. The beginning of a million voices going round in my mind. Ugly, fat, worthless. The beginning of always skipping meals. Never eating properly just so that I could look like anybody else. It was the beginning of my end. Every single day, society leads us to believe that we are not as beautiful as we should be. Our bodies, the wrong sizes and shape, our faces disproportionate and incorrect, and we let it. Why? Who is society to tell me that I look wrong and out of place? Kate Moss once said that nothing tastes as good as skinny feels. Fancy that. I have no idea where she has been eating. <laughs> Society changes the beauty standard of how we're supposed to look constantly. Look at the difference between models from 2009 and today. It's impossible to keep up. Did you know that 90% of teenage girls are unhappy with their bodies? 35% of teenage boys have dieted at least once in their lives. 94% of teenagers want to look like somebody else. Isn't that crazy? 94%. And why? Just so that we can look like someone who, just wants to, who paid thousands of pounds on their bodies just so that they can go and embarrass themselves on the next season of Love Island. <laughs> Beauty fits the eye of the beholder. I might not look like anything to you, you or you, but I could be everything to you or you or you. Your freckles, dimples, acne, curves and lack thereof are somebody's treasure. They're what make you, you. You are the beauty standard. You are beautiful.